This time of year, millions of Americans celebrate Christmas, and for many people, it is a religious celebration. But as Universe Live reporter Lizeth Vijar found out, the origin of the holiday is not rooted in Christianity. Lizeth? Christmas is a favorite time of the year for many people. It is a holiday that people all around the world celebrate with their family and friends. However, Christmas hasn't always existed as we know it. I'm joined by Dr. Mark Callister from the BYU School of Communication, who teaches a class on media and world religions. Dr. Callister, in your class you talk about the origins of Christmas, right? Yeah. So in many parts of the world, Christmas happens during winter. What is the significance of this season in the origins of this holiday? Well, actually in the first couple of centuries after the death of Jesus Christ, much of the Christian focus was on Easter time. But as it began to move, uh, Christianity began to spread beyond the Mediterranean countries and got more into Central and Northern Europe. Um, they had a number of festivals they would hold during the winter time. And those festivals were kind of to help them get through uh, the dark, cold season of winter. And so these festivals, as they began to merge with Christianity, began uh, to take on some Christian elements. The Christian elements began to adopt some of those um, festival practices and ceremonies. And so that's kind of the merging of the two brought about, to some extent, what we know Christmas today. And um, what were the features of that, uh, those festivals? Those so festivals? yeah, so the festivals were uh, all about getting together. They were gatherings. They were times of being able to bring in evergreens, something to kind of give them uh, hope and uh, excitement for springtime to come. A time of a lot of uh, drinking and eating and, and making merry and dancing, something to just kind of boost their spirits during some of those uh, you know, longer, darker uh, times of the year. So those celebrations that you mentioned look very different from what we celebrate today. So how do we get to the religion's meaning of uh, the holiday? Well, I think you have to then look at pop culture, right? You have to take a look at some of the ways that perhaps um, uh, companies and, you know, in our economy begin to capitalize on Christmas, that it becomes a very advantageous event for them to be able to sell products. So I think you can look at a lot of the commercialism, obviously, uh, that we see in our Christian celebrations uh, have come to us from, um, from that kind of marketplace focus. But it's interesting, um, sometimes uh, Christmas and its evolution has been um, uh, compared to like a rolling snowball. As you roll that snowball, and you're making a snowman, you can probably envision how it gathers up some of the sticks and various elements are all folded into that, that snowball. Um, and if you look over the origins of Christmas and you see how with the spread of Christianity into parts of uh, Europe and even then coming to the United States and into Mexico, it's like that rolling snowball it begins to take on some of those traditions. Awesome. So uh, one, more, one more question. Um, so according to you, what are some ways that we can give Christ in Christmas this holiday season? Yeah, so that becomes a challenge, right? Is how do you begin to really separate out uh, for Christians what is most meaningful about the holiday? And that's the example of the Savior, of his coming to the world and what that means for all of us. And I think that's a challenge in, uh, for everyone. And it's a very personal kind of decision on how you maybe separate out those elements that perhaps could detract us from the, the truer meaning um, and really focus on what are really some of those core elements that perhaps were more reflected in the earlier traditions of, of Christmas. Hey, awesome. That's so interesting. Thank you so much for all you shared and for joining us today. Sure. Thank you.